Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome you back to another episode of our Frostpunk Let's Play in the Last Autumn DLC, where we are rushing against a finish line that is very quickly approaching us. Honestly, I don't feel like I'm running towards the finish line. I feel like it's just headed straight for me, trying to cut me in half or something. But uh, we're going to try and make it work, folks. We're going to try and make it work. Uh, here is the plan for the day. We've been making some decent progress overall. Uh, yeah, we've made some nice progress overall, so to speak. We're five hours ahead of schedule. That makes me feel, you know, I'm... I'm still clenching, let's put it that way, but I'm not as clenched as I was last session at that, you know, in the middle there when we fell behind schedule. Uh, but here's what I'm thinking. I was thinking about this overnight and I looked at your comments and stuff as well, and uh, I feel like I need to play things a bit more safely. Pun entirely intended, I need to be a bit more cautious about work safety. I was thinking about how the last time we had, um, uh, when we built, whatever, I forget what it was, when we built the safety, uh, items for when people were underground working on the pumps despite us having built them and us using them uh people actually still were horribly injured that's when we had to decide about the amputees if you'll remember and uh, i realized even though i built the five steel composites that we'll need to build uh, uh the uh, whatever the safety item is over here i feel like we're going to be in a similar situation where despite doing something it's not going to be good enough so i kind of want to let today proceed as is even though it's dangerous i want to wait until this protective structure is used up we're going to keep things as safe as possible might actually do a shortened shift if i'm completely honest i might actually prefer a shortened shift to make it only harmful uh just so we can stay ahead of schedule a little bit um well, let's see that takes two days and one hour versus two days and 12 hours. Okay, so a shortened shift is more efficient, I guess, because of the laws we've passed, fair enough. So we'll do the shortened shift, um, but today is the only, we're, we're gonna do the shortened shift today, and then I'm going to take people off of the core anytime things are too dangerous. Um, I only, it's, I'm saying this now, I'm definitely gonna change my mind when the time comes, when push comes to shove, but what I'm thinking is we're gonna pull people off working on the core, we're going to put them in the foundry, we're, we have them in the machine shop, we're gonna add some to the profiles manufacturer, and we're going to build everything we need uh, for like the next stage, assemble the generator, so that eventually, you know, whenever it is safe to work at the core, we can send people back in to work at the core and uh, make some progress there when it's safe. So when like gas levels are low and things like that. But otherwise, when they're not, uh, we'll be producing everything we need for the future and everything we need to make uh, safety a little bit better as well. That's that's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, with that said, there's a couple things we have to take care of. So let's go ahead and um, if we look at our morgue real quick, again, we don't have the wood required to send these bodies back home. So what we're gonna do instead is we're going to go ahead and pass the law. I was looking at this at the end of last session, uh, the company funerals law. Not only does this change the uh, requirement to steel as opposed to wood, which I think will do better for us, uh, but it will also raise motivation by more. That extra 30% uh, efficiency is something I am yearning for right now. So we're gonna sign this. Those who give their lives in service to the empire deserve the highest honor. We will send their bodies to England in steel coffins and bury them at the company's expense. I really like that honor is spelt the uh, like the British way, so to speak. It's fitting of the company we're representing, which it's in English. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and sign that. Um, Listen, yes. Everybody. New regulations. New regulations. Uh, and let's go ahead and yes, yeah, send all these bodies off and hopefully it'll take us over that marker there so that while things are only harmful, over here, we can make some more progress, but I am really worried about an incident that'll cause a lot of maiming. Let's go ahead and prepare these bodies. It's only 45 steel. Apart from that, oh, look at that. Yes! Oh, that makes me so happy. We should be above that 30% marker. I think I have to hit play. That's fine. Um, apart from that, we want to try and save up a little bit of money today, uh, or money, I say, wood and steel to maybe get another set of docks down. Maybe not upgraded, but even if it's basic docks that we can get down over here so that for the next, what, three days we can gather some extra wood. I think that'll go a long way because y'all are right in the comments, wood is becoming a, bottle a bottleneck. And with that said, as I hit play, folks, I just want to mention really quickly, if you've been enjoying this series and you'd like to see more Frostpunk on the channel, not just uh, not just this DLC, but even more afterwards, uh, the best way to make sure that happens is by letting me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. It does make a really big difference in how I approach the content on the channel, what I do more or less of. So do keep letting me know. 
With that said, let's go ahead and spend some of our steel and coal because we've got, uh, we need to get 50 steam exchangers for the next step. And we have to also get 20 steel composites. So let's, uh, let's not waste any time, right? Let's get to work on that right away. Uh, we can go ahead and queue some of you up. Uh, yeah, let's queue some of you up and let's go ahead and queue some of you up as well. We need to get, how, sorry, we need to get 25 times two, right? Yeah, so we at least want enough to make a thermal hull uh, as soon as possible. So that's another, oh my god, we need so many steam exchangers. You know, what? I'm not going to queue that many up because we have a tech we want to pass. Redesign templates, getting there is going to be difficult because of the wood requirement. But if I can pass redesign templates, that might be quite helpful. 50 steam exchangers, that's a, that's a lot. That's a hefty number. But that feels like the right number. I also should build more resource depots, and I also should get the charcoal kiln thermostat to make sure we're producing more coal per uh, wood fire, like wood burning we do. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and hit play, see how the workday proceeds. We should also consider what we want to order in our next shipment. I'm thinking we might actually want to get uh, a bunch of uh, prosthesis. I don't think we need more workers, because if I'm going to be shuffling people around with the core, waiting until it's safe and unsafe and, you know, all that no uh, noise, uh, I don't think we need more workers, if I'm completely honest. I do think, though, we could use, uh, uh, eight more prosthesis. That's, I know it sounds like a waste, but I genuinely believe that's the right call. I genuinely believe that's the right call. It's the safe call. Let's order that shipment and let's hit play. Let's see how things proceed, right? Hopefully you've got that. Plus 10%, 21% due to high motivation. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Our dead ones deserve no less. You're absolutely right. The company owes each of us and our families at least this much. You're absolutely right, and hopefully this will help. Uh, but again, it is not safe. Oh, in fact, it is, it is dangerous. Why is it dangerous? Toxic gases. Oh, are you not on? You're on over there. I've got the shortened shift happening. Strike risk, because look at that, one day and three hours, that dropped significantly. I'm really worried about this. I This makes me so uncomfortable. It makes me so very uncomfortable. And our sawmill over here has got workers. All right, you know, here's what we're going to do. Reduce the risk over here. On people in here. Let's get the wood chopping happening. 75 wood over here is all that's available. Uh, that wood can be used to build a, uh, a dock, though, so at least there's that. At least there's that. Safety improvements will help make things a little bit easier on us, I think. Here, we're going to keep uh, keep commissioning these things. We're just going to commission them separately, right? One day and eight hours. Still a decent production rate over here. I, I, I can't wait until tomorrow when the... No. No, you're kidding me. Safety is deadly. Several workers were seriously injured by a machine they operated. It seems this piece of equipment was malfunctioning for some time before the accident, but was too important to be taken offline for maintenance. Discontent rises, strike risk rises. Okay, well, this is unfortunate. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? This is, yeah, this... Hold on. Where was it? It's not deadly. It's just dangerous. What do you... I mean, I'm glad I ordered the, uh... The prosthesis, I guess, but that's... I, I feel like I've been had. I feel like I've been had. Go ahead and up the production over here. Keep all this stuff going for as long as we can, right? Keep it all going. That really sucks. That really does suck, but it, it, it's okay. We'll bounce back from that, no problem. We'll bounce back from that, no problem. We've got all this operating. Oh, no. Ooh, the fire dampers. Sir, we have now enough resources to build the fire dampers in the core, which will limit the damage if a fire breaks out. Um, yes, build it. Go for it. Done. Though, again, I want to be wary, though. As soon as the safe, the protective structures wear off, we're out of there. I don't want to, I don't want people working in a dangerous zone. Um, the least we can do, short shifts, uh, safety procedures, protective structures, and wait until the toxicity level is low as well. That's, that's, that's my call. That's my executive decision. And add another one to you, Let's add another one to you as well. Wood is collecting, slowly but surely. We might want to get another steam uh, sawmill down. 25 wood, 40 steel. Definitely want to get one down, like over here or something. But we want to make sure we have enough wood left over for the uh, the docks as well. 
Maybe we do the docks first. Get these docks down. Get you built. A lot of workers here were injured. We're almost out of the safe... Uh, like the safe zone, so to speak, even though it's still dangerous. Two days and three hours. We're ten hours ahead of schedule. We're better off now than we were before. Silver lining thinking, ladies and gentlemen. Silver lining thinking whenever possible. Whenever possible. Feel like it's a little late to build a street down over here now, isn't it? Doing okay, doing okay. An eye on you. Work shift is over here. Work shift is over here. I, I, I don't want to do a full shift. It, it becomes more dangerous, right? So let's go ahead and... No workers there. Uh, max you out. Let's go ahead and get that going. Go ahead and get you going as well. Well, not enough wood. Okay, that's fine. Make some of you. Make some of you. Safety improvements researched. Excellent. So that should make the uh, machine shop safer. Good. So we can go ahead and do 24-hour shifts. Let's take a look at our research options here. I wish we could actually make the... Um, the, the 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 generator construction site safer. Ventilation plant coupling would allow us to build another ventilation plant. That could help us significantly if we drop the toxicity level by another step, right? Because right now, over here, toxic gases is negative three. If it was actually... If ventilation plants gave us plus two, I mean, it still wouldn't take us all that high up, if I'm completely honest. Like, is it worth having a second ventilation plant? I... Uh, it's hard to say. We get a third one down over here, but it's hard to say. One thing I do know I want is the uh, charcoal kill thermostat. I want to make sure I get that. I want to make sure I get that. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and research maybe the sawmill upgrade. Raises the efficiency by 25%. It only costs steel, which is why I'm thinking it's the way to go right now. Because we don't have wood to waste. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the... Sorry, where'd it go? Sawmill upgrade. Start research there. There's no reason to have people sitting still looking pretty doing nothing. Uh, let's max you out. Let's go ahead and actually drop once this gets done. Why are you... Why are you not working? Finish this thing off. Come on. want to add more people to this work site over here. Or I can just do this, I guess. Get all this done. Get all this on the extra motivation is helping as well. 16 steam exchangers. Oh, we're paused. That's why it's not moving forward. I'm sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. That's my bad. That's entirely on me. Okay, we have almost enough structural profiles to make things safer for two days. We're eight hours ahead of schedule. Tomorrow will be a good day, I think, if we can get one more of these out. 20 wood. Uh, let's go ahead and make you a 24 hour shift, please. Add some more people working there. Down over here, this will be built soon. These are all... These should all be 24 hours. Make you all 24 hours. We, we have little time to waste. Definitely need to get another one of these out. Uh, I can go ahead and set you to be... Regular shift. 20 workers freed up. Max you out. Let's get the coal coming through. And let's go ahead and max... Well, I want to wait until this is done. 11 hours, that's a waste. Let's just max you up for now. Cool. That'll be good. You are... Um, I don't like dangerous. Keep you on the shortened shift over here. You're 24 hours and you're harmful is all. Alright, cool. Pop some more of these babies out. Again, we need 25 times 2. We've got the motivation boost right now. So let's keep that going. Over here, time to dismantle you. This will hopefully be done soon, and then we can get some more uh, wood being shipped in, at least for the next couple of days. I'm thinking this is when the water will freeze over. Steel is looking good, because we also have a thousand steel over here that I imagine we'll be able to harvest. So steel, I'm a bit more comfortable with. Wood and coal, I'm worried about. Wood and coal, I am worried about. Go ahead and get... I need one more of these, but we don't have wood coming in right now. That's what it is. Alright, it's okay. It's okay. We're fine. We'll, uh... Maybe just finish it in the morning. Freeze up some more workers that way. We can max you out now. I want to make sure that the uh, dock is working 24 hours and it has workers. Got to get that wood coming through right away. Max you out. Wood. And I wonder if... 
60 wood, 20 steel. It's okay. We'll get there. What is a bottleneck now? It'll remain a bottleneck later as well. Now, what's up over here? Are these guys coming back? These guys are headed back. Okay. wonder if I should do some more exploring or if I should stick to just getting food for now. Because food will allow us to pass sermons and stuff that'll help. Lake full of fish depleted. Talk about timing, eh? All right. Done. So let's go ahead and uh, pack up over here. Snowy hills, I suppose, is the best way to go. 12 hours to arrive, fair enough. Five amputees. Well, at least prosthetics are coming. I'm glad I ordered those prosthetics. It was like I had a premonition almost. Let's max you out. Let's get that wood coming through. All right. All right, we're feeling comfy. 29 wood. Go ahead and 24 hours here for a second. Be inefficient, but it'll be done by the morning. I need that toxicity level to drop. We're just about an hour ahead of schedule. Well, with the extra um, motivation, with extra safety and all, hopefully we'll be fine. Hopefully we'll be fine. You guys are regular hours, right? Yeah. All right. At least you got these uh, steam exchangers still being built. At least we've got those steam exchangers being built. All right. I think we can speed things up a little bit. Um, what am I looking at here? Other option is, of course, to actually build our steam sawmill. 25 wood. Oh, what's coming through right now? Either 24 hours. There we go. And then we could, uh... Do what? Well, let's set you to regular working hours here. Not that that frees anybody up. I'm trying to figure out. All right, well, MTU, fill you. Because right, we're topped up over here, storage in your capacity. The 24 hours, but if we're near capacity, we're near capacity. It's all steel, right? Oh no, this is coal. Oh, coal is full. Uh, oh crap. Okay, well, if coal is full. Go ahead and turn the bathhouse on. Empty the coal a little bit. I should maybe build a resource depot, but unfortunately that costs 20 wood and 10 steel. Hmm. 20 wood and 10 steel. Where can I get that wood back right now? I cannot. Cannot. Well, let's go ahead and assign some people here. 50 to 24 hours. We can get some people off of here. Working here. Yeah, we, we gotta get more, uh, places to store these resources. I'm glad the coal is topped up, but not exactly what I had in mind. Toxicity's gotta drop soon. Come on, baby. We are falling four hours behind schedule. Deadly here. Deadly here. No workers assigned, obviously. High motivation. Efficiency is up. Good stuff. I really hope the toxicity drops. We'll drop tomorrow. It was saying today. Well, now it's saying tomorrow. Hmm. I go ahead and I keep you on these times. It'll still only, it'll still be deadly over here. I could help with the structural profiles, but I don't think it'll help all that much. It'll still be dangerous. I want it to be safe before we work. I want it to be safe. What's the problem here? You're topped up? Max you out. Go ahead and reduce the numbers here a little bit. And max you out. There we go. High motivation. Efficiency is increased. Toxicity is way too high. Dangerous. No, this will just help by one step. Transport has arrived with some... Uh, some prosthesis, so that's good. We can go ahead and get some more workers, I suppose. Get 10 workers. Get 11 workers. Order that shipment. Again, we're falling a little behind schedule. But I think it'll be worth it. Worth it. I think it'll be worth it. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Cancel you, cancel you, cancel you. Wanted to build what? Resource depot. Get you down there. 
I want to get the steam sawmill down here as well. Might want to upgrade these docks too. There's a lot to still do. There's a lot to, to do still, sorry. Just dropping my English skills off a cliff over here. Keep you guys going. High motivation is helping. I was really hoping that the danger levels would drop. But it is dangerous. There's nothing I can do about that, is there? Nothing I can do about that. We're going to fall a day behind schedule, I think, at this rate. Resource not specified. Coal it shall be. There we go. Now we've got you working over here. I need... Problem here. Storage limit reached. Forgers have reached the snowy hills. Let's go ahead and see what's going on over there. Steel and wood. Okay. Go ahead and explore. Searching the area, we found some resources scattered around. The fugitives must have left all inessential supplies behind to lighten their load before entering the hills. There's no telling what happened to them, but considering the remoteness of this land and the harsh climate, they're likely to die of starvation and exposure before finding help. Well, take resources, that's a lot. That's a lot. Let's go ahead and get you guys back home. 17 hours to arrive, but that'll be quite helpful when they do get here. That'll be quite helpful when they get here. 12 workers, we can get you. We're fine over here. We're fine over here. I guess we'll keep you over here. I guess, I guess people haven't arrived here yet to start taking the steel away. Come on. Get to work. Oh no, what's the deal here? Alarming rumors. The beginning of the end. Sir, it seems that word of the last news from London have spread across the camp. People whisper all sorts of wild tales, but the most widespread rumor is that everyone will be left here to die. Are you going to do something about it? Let people talk or explain the situation. Discontent will rise, motivation will fall. No, I, I need motivation right now. Let people talk. I feel like it'll get worse down the line. Ah, goddamn. You know what? We're not able to work on the core right now. Let motivation fall a little bit. Explain the situation. Just a little bit. What we'll do is we'll throw a service tonight, and that'll hopefully edge motivation above where it is right now, and uh, and that should let us get uh, get work done. Meanwhile, keep working away as if nothing is wrong. Keep working away as if nothing is wrong. Coal is looking good. We can turn the bathhouse back off, even though that does help with sickness. Twenty-five being treated. Hopefully, they'll be taken care of soon. Hopefully they'll be taken care of soon. Add another engineer here, or add a worker over here. Sounds dangerous. 23 hours. It's okay, it's okay, we're working on it, we're working on it. Keep the wood aside. Good thing these things only take steel, right? Oh no, what's going on? Grateful father. Ooh, letter from home. Sir, we have news about the father of the sick child you allowed to go home. He wrote one of his friends that his daughter did not make it, but he's grateful that he could be there to hold her hand. Our people appreciate that you made the right call. Oh my, you know what? Discontent falls slightly. That makes me so happy right now that at least one of the decisions I made a while ago was the right one. As little as it does, as little as it does, it does, it does make me a little happy. Um, all right, let's keep production going. We're okay there. Keep you working as well. Wood is at 25. Um... I wonder if we just focus on this for now and build advanced um, advanced docks instead. Sawmill upgrade researched. If we go ahead and do upgraded docks, 60 wood. Even though it won't take as much to build it here. Sawmill upgrade research, so we can swap that out for sawmill range extension. 40 wood it'll cost though. 40 wood for this as well. We need more wood. We need more wood. That is our primary concern, I think, right now. Uh, less coal being burnt is helpful. Well, right now, it feels like we can't really research anything because of the, the wood situation. I, I hate having to pause research. Oh, I could do the supercharge. Five steam exchangers for 10% uh, progress. That sounds like it might be worth it, actually, folks. You know what? Let's start that. Because we've fallen behind. 14 hours behind. 14 hours behind is not a pleasant uh, thing to see. But these are guys, these guys are all working 24 hours, so they're working as much as they can. 
keep collecting the wood and we'll hopefully get an upgrade done sometime soon. And again, we do have some wood and, uh, and, and steel coming, right? So that'll be helpful. That'll be quite helpful, actually. And uh, let's keep these guys working. 24 hours over here. It's only harmful. Same thing over here. Well, no, you guys are short in shifts. If I go ahead 24 hours, dangerous. Dangerous. Okay, well, I don't like dangerous. Let's go ahead and finish this one. And then we'll... Uh, there we go. That'll be more efficient. Get you done. Cool. And turn you off. There we go. That's fine. These guys are safe, so let's keep these going. 11 steel composites. We need 20. We're over halfway there. That, you know, that that's comforting. That's comforting. But we need... Hold on a sec. We've got the core being worked on. The generator is 25 and 10 and 25 and 10. Okay. So we do have enough to get one going basically right away. We need to build a few more steam exchangers. Prostitutes checked. They are clear of venereal diseases. That's good. And over here, coal. I mean, I guess I could add more workers here. Um, where should I pull them from? Let's pull them from here. Max you out, and... These are already maxed. Well, you're not maxed out. There we go. Three workers left. I can go ahead and add them over here. Just to get the research going a little bit faster, because these guys are working 24 hours. No, they're not. Well, let's set you to work 24 hours. None here. Max you out. I don't know if that's more or less efficient. It says about 13 hours if I do that. Well, sure. It'll be done overnight be done overnight one amputee left does that mean we need one more uh we need to bring in one more prosth prosthetic maybe overcrowding extra rations for the ill i'm almost tempted to do bare knuckle bouts reduce discontent people punch their anger out under labor we can get shift work coordination it'll cause more discontent but it'll require less workers Terror is not an option I'm willing to take. Selfless sacrifice. It raises workplace efficiency by 25%. It'll help with motivation, but it reduces workplace safety by two. That is desperate times, desperate measures. I could sign this so I have access to it if absolutely necessary. Sure. New company rules are in place. There we go. Helps the motivation. That's... that's I see boss is not so committed to the worker safety after all. Selfless sacrifice my demonetization. It's nothing but exploitation. Mmm. Well, at least motivation went up. At least motivation went up. Strike risk is kind of high over here, but... I'm not asking for your sacrifice. Okay, toxicity better fall tomorrow. I need it to. Because we're now a full 20 hours behind schedule. And that is just not okay. That is just not okay. Research is ongoing. I can max this out. About eight hours left. Seeing some progress down here. Are we able to build the upgraded docks? No. I hope the game knows that I just need 40 or so wood. I could do the steam sawmill. But I'd rather do the upgraded docks and get all this done. Oh, or oh, when will the water freeze? Here or here? I don't know. But heat's going to start becoming a problem soon. We are currently looking at... People are comfortable. Okay. Livable isn't a problem either. People are comfortable right now, so that's fine by me. Livable is also fine by me, if I'm completely frank. We're good for coal. Steel is looking okay. Wood is starting to at least be collected. We can go ahead and see... Yes, it will allow me to override this. Uh, yes. Let's do this so we can have two piles. Let's do this so we can have two piles. That'll be good for us, I think. Alright. Uh, I think we can speed time up comfortably now. I will wait until the research gets done. I might want to, if we're working 24 hours here, get some more work over here done. You know what? None. Swap that around. There we go. There we go. Get this work done. We need 25, right? 22, 23, 24, 25. I don't know why I stopped, if I'm completely honest. I, I don't know what came over me. We're, we've got the motivation boost. We should use that right now. Foragers have arrived. They've got 150 steel and 230 wood. That is excellent. I can slow it down. We can actually build a steam sawmill now. 
We have no one to work it, though, is the thing. So maybe we maybe we skip that for now. But I should perhaps get a resource depot built so that we can build um, for wood because wood is coming to its cap as well with that recent arrival. These folks, I could ask them to stay or I could send them out. There was a three graves down here. I could send them down to that, I suppose. Come on now. We'll take one day and 11 hours. Or the Collapse Mine, 22 hours. Let's go to the Collapse Mine first, see if we can't maybe find some resources over there. Dangerous, but... It's life without some risks being taken here and there, right? Okay, now I'm comfy with speeding things up. Supercharge has been researched. Excellent. Hmm. Could get the safety improvements over here. I've got wood now, right? Even, uh, oh my god, 125 wood to get the difference engine done. Gives us the advanced supercharge. I wish I could see what that was. I wish I could see what that was. It also gives us um, advanced docks. That'll be useless. Charcoal kiln bellows. Gathering optimization. Improved heaters. Um... Maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's worth it. It costs, what, 125 wood? I mean, I guess we've got enough. Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Mainly because of the advanced supercharge. I feel like that'll give us a, a, like a 20% boost for using the same number of uh, steam exchangers, which is really, it's worth it. So let's upgrade the difference engine. 23 of you. I have enough sued. Motivation's still up. I really need toxicity to fall. <laughs> so badly. Because we are now a day behind schedule. We're now a day behind schedule. But protective structures, short shift efficiency, all this stuff will come together to, to work in our favor, right? It'll all work in our favor. At least someone working over here, make this a 24 hour shift. Motivation dropped. Is that below the 30% marker? I can't tell. Looks like it. Oh yeah, it is. It says as much. God damn, that's not good. Didn't expect that hefty a drop. I would have... Would have done this. I'll save it for when toxicity is better. It looks like it's just not dropping. Oh, there we go. Alright, cool. So, we will actually be working here today. We will actually be working here today. Let's go ahead and drop one of you down. None. Uh, max you out. You're on as well. We've got safety procedures. We could build one of these as well. I mean, I'm not saying we could. I'm saying we will. And hopefully we will catch up. Functioning. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, it's harmful right now. Let's pop that. Unhealthy. Still not safe. I don't like that. Don't like that. How can I make you safe? Jeez, I guess having another steaming... Uh, Thing for, for to toxic fumes would have helped. Transport has arrived with 11 more workers. That's good timing, because we can go ahead and stack y'all in here. Um, pull people out of here. Drop some in here. Max you out as well. Keep more of these coming. We are still a, about a day behind schedule. 22 hours to complete. Toxicity will go up tomorrow, so we want to avoid working then. Trying to figure out. Well, let's go ahead and send our transport out again to get some more workers for us. And some prosthesis as well. Oh, you know what? Gut feeling. Let's get prosthesis and a worker. There, let's do that. Just gut feeling. Motivation's up, so that's good. 99% efficiency, 20 hours to finish. We should end up ahead of schedule, hopefully, with this extra motivation boost as well. And what are we looking at over here? Make you a regular shift. All right, one free worker. We're maxed out. Need to build reloading stations. Let's get a... Well, no, I don't want to distract people from their work. Let's go ahead and make you focus on wood. All right being made. We're okay. I'm really tempted, actually, to get workers off here and just supercharge 
the completion, and then we don't have to worry about uh, things we've been warned about. Because I can do five times Steam Exchanger use. Oh, that's so tempting. That's so tempting, just to save lives. Just to save lives. We use this five times, and each time is 10%. We go from 50% to 100%, but we lose all progress. I want it to be safe. I want it to be safe. There's nothing I can do to make it safe. Oh, that isn't build another um, ventilation plant. Alright, what's going on here? Hurt by words. Propaganda. Oof. Sir, engineers are worried that certain messages broadcast by the agitators undermine their authority. They take issue with slogans meant to boost workers' resolve and motivation, such as Worker, show the engineers what you're made of, or Engineers said it couldn't be done. Prove them wrong. Cut the slogans, motivation will fall. Leave the slogans, discontent will rise. Leave the slogans. Engineers, shut up. This is the workers' scene right now. Without the workers, we'd have no generator. Without the engineers, we wouldn't have it either, but both parties need to work together. Leave the slogans. It's it's help. It's just playful banter. Okay, that's all it is. It's playful banter. We also need to build a tent. Go ahead and put you down over here. It's unfortunately not perfect placement of stuff. Go ahead and make another one of you. Oh, I'm so worried about things we've been warned about. I look at labor. Is there anything we can do? Cause more discontent. Anything we can do for safety in the laws. Nothing we can do for safety in the laws. If we take a look at administration, what about here? Nothing, I don't think. Overcrowding, that's not going to help. Extra rations for the ill. Speeds up recovery. Mm, and that's helpful if things go wrong. The bare knuckle bouts, honestly, starting to feel like a good call. There is no law that I want to pass unless I am pushed against a wall, basically, at this point. No law I want to pass unless I'm forced to. So we'll leave it be for now. As I nervously watch uh, the core construction proceed. Still working over here. Um, you know what? I'm going to... I'm tempted to stop this. The workday is almost over. Oh, you know what? Let this workday finish. Let this workday finish. And then... We will... Yep. Take everybody out of there. Uh, push more people in here. Max you out as well. Let's get this research done. Let's go ahead and make you 24 hours. Max you out. Keep these things coming. And, I, and I'm going to check if we can actually just automate the end of this process. We're still about 19 hours behind, right? 24-hour shift is not an option here. It's not an option. We're almost done the research. What's the deal here? Get some more workers working this. I would like to build... Well, hold on. I need to check my research first. This is not good. We're maxed out over here. Temperature's about to drop again as well. Research is almost done. Go ahead and tell me what I want to hear. Advanced supercharge. Five steam exchangers helps by 20%. That's huge. It, yeah, it literally doubles it. That's what I was thinking it would be. For 50 wood and 30 steel. Yep. Start that. We're going to complete that research. And we're going to complete construction. We're at 60%. That means we need three uses. If we need three uses. And this costs five. So we need 15 steam exchangers. Right? So we need to make sure that we're working 24 hours here. And we need to make sure we end up with enough extra. Um... But I am comfortable with doing that, and that will hopefully take us ahead of schedule. Day 35, we need to be complete. Yes. We'll we'll have it done. We'll have it done. Oh my god, yes, we'll have it done. Oh, I was getting very nervous. <laughs> I was getting extremely nervous. We have more workers coming? No, we have um, prosthetics coming, which I am fine with. Motivation will drop. Uh, I'm tempted to... Yeah, you know, let's go ahead and do the evening service. It'll help motivation, and it'll keep it up uh, overnight and hopefully tomorrow. It might not keep it up tomorrow, but it'll help get these things done uh, at, a, at a better rate. Again, it only costs steel, and steel we have plenty of. 
We just commission all that we need. Still have enough steel. One of our people died. Oh, it's the cocaine. It's the cocaine. That's what, 13 people have died? It's not the worst. It could be worse. It could definitely be worse. Can I get a reloading? Steam reloading station. We have steam cores for it? We do. What's better, two steam uh, one steam reloading or two reloading? I'm going to go with two reloading stations. I'm going to work them overnight. All right, we're proceeding over here fine. We're going to be able to automate the completion of this, which feels great, honestly. It, it's a huge load off my shoulders. Um, and hopefully they don't punish me for just being about a day behind schedule, because I, I, I will get her done in the morning. I will get her done as soon as this is done, in about five hours. In about five hours' time. We have a bunch of workers doing nothing. Anywhere we can send them, we can send one over here. These guys are... 24 hours, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Working as much as we can. Working as much as we can. People are being treated as well, so that's good. Okay. Feeling comfier. <laughs> oh, I can... I feel like I can breathe finally. We can max you out and make some more structural profiles over here. No real rush, I suppose. They help with safety. Sure. Got workers idling otherwise, so we might as well, right? Uh, max you out. Yep. Yeah. Got it going. We have some wood we can use. Hopefully this will get done soon. Oh, that's why we have workers idling. Go ahead and... Sorry, not you, but you. Max you out. And you should be working 24 hours as well. Got to get that wood in before things start to freeze over. And I sincerely hope it's not at the next stage that it freezes over, because that'll be... Then this will all have been a waste. Max you out, 24 hours. Sorry, there we go. There we go, there we go, that's better. Forges have reached the collapsed mine. We'll see what that's about in just a second. Oh, come on. Did my math wrong there. Keep you working. Max you out. All right, collapsed mine. It's a coal mine, but it has been evacuated after the collapse. Ooh. Source of coal, maybe? No, nothing. Lost crates, though. Maybe there's some coal there to be had. Nine hours to arrive, and loop back with the resources we get. We can check the three graves out later. The herd of reindeer. How much is left here? Another two days worth, approximately. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Could turn off the cocaine pills. Temporarily. Stop the uh, overdosing for a little while. Research is almost done over here. And I think, yeah, so construction site needs to be active. All right, we'll send a worker in in the morning or something. We'll send a worker in in the morning. One singular worker to get it done. Because again, we need, I mean, I guess I'd like to take it up to 60% first. I guess I could do that first. Um, let's go ahead and drop you. Well, let's keep you 24 hours for now. See if we can't finish this before the morning. Drop the worker count to a regular number. There's the advanced uh, supercharge completed. Excellent. Redesign template reduces time required to make them and the resources required to make them. Is tempting. However, so is. So is. Thermostat. Improved heaters. One, one level consumes one coal per hour. Two levels, consumes two coal per hour. I feel like it's time to maybe get the improved heaters. We'll see how much temperature drops by actually first, I suppose. Braziers allows us to raise the temperature around any brazier by two levels at the cost of doubling its coal use. Okay, radiator extensions allows us to extend the range of any brazier by 50% at the cost of doubling its coal use. Okay, okay. Healthcare insulation is probably not a bad idea, actually. Let's go ahead and do healthcare insulation. Because if our people are ill, we don't want them to be ill and cold. That would be just improper. We're okay. We're about a day behind schedule. We're going to catch up. We're going to catch up and we're going to get to work right away with the next steps. We have, do we have enough uh, steel composites? 
Might need to get more steel composites going, don't we? None. Max you out. 24 hour work shift. Because what do we need? 25 and 10 and 25 and 10. We need 9 more steel composites. We have enough uh, resources to do it. So at least there's that. At least there's that. High motivation. Uh, nope. There's the efficiency dropping. Lack of cocaine is probably not helping. The recent overdose is certainly not helping. But it's okay. We, we, we got a lot done with the extra efficiency. We got quite a bit done. Temperature is going to drop soon as well. In about an hour or so it looks like. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Water stay flowing. Okay, looks like... Okay, good, good, good. Water is still flowing, so I think we have just a handful more days left. That's all I need. That's all I need. They're working away. Harmful here. Turn that out. No, it becomes dangerous. I'm not comfortable with dangerous. We need a lot more workers up there, though. Next shipment, we're going to ask for more workers. Almost work time, so here's what we're going to do. Real quick. None. Max you out momentarily. Just want to get this up to 60%. Come on now. Come on now, 60%. All I need from you. All I need from you. While toxicity is low. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, none over here. Let's max you out completely. Come on, come on. Come on. Like, my heart is in my throat. There we go. Okay, none. One worker. Supercharge. What? What? No, are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? Too few workers present to put the fire dampers out? And here I thought I was being clever. Use emergency safety systems. Yeah, see, workplace has to be safe. I knew it would be a similar situation. Okay. Evacuate the workers crippling the generator. The generator will be prone to malfunction. Some workers will be injured. All progress on the core will be lost. That is unaffordable. We're already behind schedule. Wow. I mean, it's one worker. Many workers are trapped inside. It better only count as one worker. Discontent will rise greatly. Strike risk will rise greatly. Cut off the air supply. We can't... We can't have a huge setback at this at this stage. Cut off the air supply. God damn it. One of our people died. You think workers' blood is cheap? This debt will be paid with your own. You could have saved them. We'll never forgive you for this. Alright, folks. Here's what we're doing. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. The progress is down to 30% as well. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. So much for being clever. All right, we are. Now we're three days behind schedule. This is not good. This is not good. Global strike risk is up as well. Forges have reached a lot. Okay, steam exchangers and steel composites. Oh, you know what? Yes, explore. Inspecting the crates, we found some steam exchangers and steel composites. These valuable resources must have been destined for the winter home construction site, but it seems they got mislaid, fell off a trailer or something. They're not ours to take. Take the crates. A lot of resources saved. Take the crates. And, uh, and come back home. This was a cargo convoy. It's right there. Nine hours to arrive. Bring back these resources first. Sorry, we are getting what? 20 and 10. So those numbers. Transport has arrived. Let's send you back out. Get some more workers arriving. Man, I'm really bummed out. Here I thought I was being clever. Here I thought I was being clever. Sorry, we're getting 20. Don't need... I mean, I, I guess we can keep producing more of you. Workplace is safe. How many... How do I only have... Some? Oh, right, because I'm actually working on the core again. 
What's the problem now? Beginning of the end, let us go. Sir, a group of our people ask you to let them go home aboard the last ships. We didn't sign up to be polar explorers. We don't want to be stranded here. We know the company will fire us, but it's better to be poor and alive. We need you here, motivation will rise. Agree, discontent will fall, some people will leave the camp in two days. Discontent is very high right now. But motivation is also falling. Motivation we might be able to fix more easily than discontent. We'll lose some people, but we're getting people at the same time. Oh, man. We have two days of use for them still. Fine, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree. Agree. This content will drop a little bit. Get the cocaine back. We'll do another sermon soon. Healthcare insulation researched. What is, what is, oh, it's still livable? Yeah, we're still livable, right? It's still not freezing. Still not freezing. What can I do? What can I do? Efficient fans. Infirmary checklist. Heals people faster. Maybe we help with uh, the sawmill range extension because pretty soon we're going to be relying on sawmills alone. We've got some people working here. Right, we're working the core. One day and ten hours. We're about three days behind. Strike. Offer them the rest of the day off. Try to appease them with extra rations. Okay. Discontent will rise greatly. Demands might escalate. I need to think about it. I'm... This sucks. Everything about this sucks right now. Max you out. Get some more people working there. Oh no. Graffiti. Someone defaced an agitator. Workers, you are being used. Don't fall for their lies. Although there's no way to tell for sure who did it, everyone whispers that this can only be the work of an engineer. God damn. I have it cleaned up. Motivation will fall slightly, but... Discontent will fall greatly. Minus one strike risk at all workplaces. I wish I'd used this earlier. Man, I don't... I don't... Like, how am I supposed to bounce back from this? Offering these guys the rest of the day off might increase their demands. Last warning, you missed your milestone. Due to the difficulty of your task, the authorities agreed to give you one last chance. You'll have to meet all future milestones. No exception. Any delays, even the slightest, will result in your termination. I see. I see. Interesting. Interesting. It's okay. We have the resources. It's these setbacks that set us back tremendously. Can't use this for a while. Cocaine will hopefully help with motivation a little bit. Uh, one thing I can do is, you know what? I think it's time for some bare knuckle bouts. Some people might end up hurt, but our healthcare system is pretty good. This will help with discontent. Let's do it. Let's fight club. I'm itching to see a good fight. It'll be just like the old times. Yep. Yep. Good. Betting on fights was the next best thing to the races. Sure. Whatever makes you happy, man. Whatever makes you happy. What can I do to help here? I'll set you down to none. Max you out, I suppose. It's a steel pile. It's a steam reloading station. You're already 24 hours. I'm not going to have enough food. Convert it to rations. These guys, I don't know when they'll arrive. These guys will arrive soon. Better working. You'll have to raise the workplace safety above dangerous. Okay, that I can offer. Workplace safety above dangerous, that I can offer. We're currently dangerous. Oh, oh, wow, that's with this active. It's gonna get worse tomorrow. Man, how and how, how am I, how? 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 
You know what I mean? Like, I guess, okay, if I do that, right, but if I do this, then it's deadly now. Dangerous. No ventilation plants are active right now. Well, if I make you 24 hours, then you become harmful. But that makes you dangerous. Tomorrow's gonna suck. Tomorrow is going to suck. Let's max you out. Keep working on these. Max you out as well. Um, they've returned with steam exchangers and steel composites. I'm gonna send them back out to the planes. Go to the cargo convoy, I suppose. One day and three hours to arrive. It's fine by me. Lots of steel composites and steam exchangers. So again, we have the resources to get the next step going. Deadline is day 45. Ten days to go, folks. Ten days to go. I'm thinking... Hold on, here's what I'm thinking. Do we... If I were to build another ventilation plant, I'd need one steam core. I could dismantle one of these reloading stations. I could dismantle this one over here. Because we've got plenty of coal. I'll give you two steam cores. Okay, let's do it. Can't believe I'm doing this. I cannot believe I'm doing this, but we've got plenty of coal. Alright. These are both 24 hours. Yes, they are. 28 workers currently doing nothing, but that's because this is being dismantled. About is taking place in accordance with the Bare Knuckle Bouts Law. Good. Let discontent fall. Let strike risk fall. Again, we'll be able to maybe do this if we get enough food rations. Help lower strike risk. Man. Salma range extension researched. Great. I wanted to get, um... I wanted to get what? Not the safety ventilation plant coupling. Allows us to place another one. Go ahead and do that. Get a second one so we can keep workplace above, uh, dangerous. I can't have any more setbacks in the next, uh, stage. Right, and toxicity is about to go up as well. 28. Let's max you out. Set you to 24 hours as well. There we go. Got it done. You'll be done in about 8 hours time. That's good. You're being dismantled, so you'll be done dismantling in time to build the upgrade for tomorrow morning's shift. Hopefully. We have 10 more workers arriving as well. Okay. These are both 24 hours. You are both 24 hours as well. We're working as quickly as we can. You are still making more of these. I don't think we really need to, if I'm honest. Right? Like, I don't think we really need to. I think we can set you down. We have so much steel, av steel available. Get them working on the profile manufacturers instead, so we can have safety improvements more often. There's our 50th one. Done. I mean, I guess, you know what? Make some for a boost, I guess. Help us catch up. Because that helps by 20%, was it? Supercharge, 20%, yeah. So it'll take us from 35 to 55%. Oh, man. All right. We'll see how it goes. See how it goes. You've been dismantled. Good. I can get workers. I should probably still get the reloading station. Regular reloading station. Over here. You're just a coal pile. I don't have the steam core to waste. Because I need it for the ventilation. And uh, hopefully we can make it all work. I think I'm good to speed time up. Let's do it. My god. Things are livable or, 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 or comfortable, so that's fine. That's fine. In progress here, yes, good. And then I won't be able to boost this until, like, the day after, I think, right? Man, I thought I was being so cheeky and so clever. But no, the explosion just has to happen, I guess. The explosion just has to happen. Kind of bummed out about that, I'm not going to lie. Go ahead and get this going here. Resources are looking better, so at least there's that. We have enough to start the next stages, so that's good. Cocaine is in the building. Motivation will maybe rise by enough. We don't know. Or 
Oh, did I miss the drop? Or does that happen at 7? I keep forgetting. Keep forgetting. Speed up time a little bit. Man, toxicity is high here. Strike risk is super high. Deadly. Um. Oh no. There's the upgrade done, so let's go ahead and get our... Where is it? Ventilation plant down over here. Get that done. Hopefully it'll work. Efficient fans would be quite helpful as well at this stage. Do it. Got to get both of these up and running. We've got to get both of them up and running. We need to drop strike risk. Food is arriving when I need that food to arrive. Okay, workers aren't working here. It's just dangerous. All right. When we get this, it'll help. And we can get this thing up and running as well. And that'll be quite helpful, I think. Okay, almost done. There we go. So now you are harmful. Let's go ahead and drop all the workers here. Drop all the workers here. Get this space maxed out. It's harmful, so we can go ahead and build the protective structures. Now it's unhealthy. Fair enough. One day and 13 hours. Motivation needs to be popped up over here. Use the evening service as soon as possible. Doing what we can. Turning this off is probably not a good idea. Like, if I turn this off, it becomes harmful. Okay. Transport has arrived with more workers. Tuck them in here right away. We need to get coal. We have about three days worth of coal. So you know what, actually. Hmm. Hard to know for sure. Okay, let's set you to none. Let's set you to max. Let's set you to max as well. So will keep you a regular shift. Alright, cool. Progress being made over here. We can use the supercharge tomorrow. This is good. I'm wondering if I do that, it'll be dangerous. It'll be dangerous. Do that. Keep the strike risk low. Okay. Alright. One day. Three days behind schedule. Alright. Hopefully that's... Hopefully that's comfortable. I could... Bring in a shipment of... More workers. And perhaps... Some more... Uh, prosthetics. Might not be a bad idea. I think I'm good to speed time up right now. Oh, oh no. Fugitive. Sir, the Manchester Constabulary, Constabulary, never know how to pronounce this, informs us in a letter that the engineer we sent them never reached port. He apparently managed to overpower his escort and escaped in a boat. The police believes he's, this is an admittance of guilt. They will keep searching for him and are grateful for our cooperation. Well, that's good. I guess at least I did the right thing there as well. So some positives are coming out of this. 23 hours to complete. Okay. Three days behind schedule. We can start immediately tomorrow. We can start immediately tomorrow. Resources are still being gathered as quickly as they can be, basically. Maxing out on some of these things. Steel, you know what? Having extra steel composites and stuff doesn't hurt either. Because as we've seen, you know, safety... Equipment sometimes requires them. More food is coming through as well. We have received some. I should probably set you down to regular working hours. And get at least a couple of people working over here. There. I'll drop a couple of engineers over here. Get you working over here. Efficient fans research. That'll be good and helpful. What have we got over here? Last orders! The beginning of the end. Sir. With the impending interruption of navigation, this is our last window to order resources to the telegraph station. Afterwards, there won't be enough time for the shipment to come through before the temperature drops. Place the order. Um, let's go ahead. One worker, one set of prosthetics. Oh, can I not place it? Because I just, I already sent the order, didn't I? Yeah, that's that. That's that. Efficient fans research, so that's good and helpful. I suppose I could... It's about time for everything to hit the fan, as it were. Improved heaters might be a good idea. The charcoal kiln might also be a good idea. Let's start with the improved heaters. Temperature's about to drop significantly. It's deadly here. Why is it deadly here? Hold on now. 
That makes it dangerous. You're on... Ah, that's why. Full shift. You're on a full shift as well. Go ahead and make you a 24-hour day. Only harmful. Dangerous. Okay. Continue time. 24 hours. I need 50 more workers. Gotta get ahead of schedule here, folks. 65... Um, every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. Go ahead and get you off. Steal. Pop you in. Wait, why are you deadly again? Should be 24 hours. You should be 24 hours. There we go. Get more workers in here. 85. Wood is looking good. Coal is looking okay. Pull people off of here. Drop you in here, come on now. 100, everything one that's left over here, max you out. Max you out as well, get the engineer in there, why not? One day, 17 hours to finish. I drop this, becomes dangerous. But it saves us time. It saves us time. What if I do service, not enough food rations? It's due to 24 hours. Get you guys working over here. The extra motivation could go such a long way right now. We have a homeless person as well. A homeless person as well. Let's go ahead and put you down over here, buddy. Gotta keep him in the warm zones now. Gotta actually pay attention to that. Three days behind schedule. Man, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make up the time. I'm actually extremely worried about that. You guys are working as much as they can. Steel is being maxed out over here. I'm trying to figure out what else I could uh, use it on that isn't uh, just these. It's the only real option I have. Wood is maxed out, which is funny to think about. Let's go ahead and build... I suppose I could build another chapel. Uh, I could also build... another bathhouse. Um, or, you know, let's go ahead and get that steam sawmill down. Almost time to use it. Pop you down there. The road set up over here. There we go. Alright, I think I can speed time up a little bit. Need to be at 80% before I can use this and help us catch up a little bit. One of our people died. It's the overdose. It's the overdose! Cargo convoy has been reached. There's nothing to search here, it seems. Ooh. Are these yours? It appears that the convoy is heading for Winterholm. That's a long way from here, and in winter conditions, it'll take even longer. They're carrying parts crucial for the proper operation of Winterholm's generator. It seems that they lost several crates on the way. Without them, for, without them, the construction of the generator might be compromised. Listen. I've got my job. Alright? Keep the resources. I have my job, they have theirs. If they've done theirs poorly, then I can't help them. Send you down to the rusting rails. See if we can't get some steel or something from there. We're still working a 24-hour shift over here. Wish there was something I could do to, like... We've lost, what, we've lost, like, 14 people now? The, the cocaine pills was maybe a bad idea. Need 20 food rations. 20 food rations. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Come on. Done. It helps, but not by enough. Helps, but not by enough. Next step after harmful is dangerous, right? Well, tomorrow we'll be able to turn this off. 56%. Speed time up a little bit here. Temperatures are about to drop. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Some food will arrive soon, at least there's that. Wood is full, steel is full, improved heaters have been researched. Let's go ahead and research automatic prototyping, perhaps. Advanced reloading station gives us the ventilation plant integration, high flow filters. Uh, alternatively, we could do safety improvements. Just for the foundry. I don't think I need that anymore. I think what I need is... Does the fishing harbor still work when things freeze over? I know one of you mentioned it does, but that sounds so strange. Let's go with the 
thermostat. Go ahead and do that. Nobody's working here right now, but that's okay. Um, I, I suppose I can pull you guys out over there, get you working over here. Use some of the wood we have. Progress here, 60%. We can get it up to 80, then I can rush it through, right? Oh, this makes me very nervous. What was that sound? Oh, that's the Book of Laws. There are no laws to pass, though, is the thing. Shift work coordination. I mean, I guess I could use that, but the discontent makes me a little worried. The discontent makes me a little worried. And over here as well, there's nothing really I want to pass right now, again, unless I feel desperate. And I don't yet feel desperate. Wood and steel are full. Well, let's go ahead and build another resource depot. We don't have time to fill it up is my concern. Let's build one. There's, if there's time to build one, it's now. We can build two, in fact. Second one down over here. Get these done, so maybe we can get some more wood and steel before uh, it all shuts down, right? I think that might be the way to do it. Alright, 65%. Motivation just took another hit. Not much we can do about that. Not much we can do about that. And it's still kind of cold. <laughs> and it's about to get colder. There it is. Negative 30 degrees. I've, I've been in colder. I've been in colder. Time to start building some of the braziers, right? Get you... You're covered, you're covered. I wish this took wood as opposed to steel. Our workplace is heated up as well. Okay, there we go. Get you warmed up back here too. It's gonna be expensive. Gonna be expensive. Why is our efficiency so low? Safety procedures. Well, hopefully this drops a little bit. Yeah, there we go. We're eating up all of our coal now, aren't we? Okay. Short shift, short shift, and short shift, because I do believe that's more efficient. 19 hours to finish. Alright, good stuff. It's unhealthy, so I could actually turn one of you off actually turn one of them off, or I could turn this off. 12 hours to finish. Harmful. Alright. Charcoal thermos kiln thermostat researched. That's good and helpful. Uh, I should probably get the improved blowers. No. Efficient burners. Let's get that done. I need that ASAP. Alright. There we go. Efficiency's up over here. That's good. Couple sick absences, not the end of the world. It is dangerous over here, though. Oh, okay, that's not acceptable. Don't want dangerous. None of that. None of that noise. Almost able to pump this. You know what? I will need more of you. Let's go ahead and get to work here. 30 workers not doing anything. Set you to wood and set you to steel. Get y'all working. Let's go. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Coal, I need more coal, actually. There we go. Looks like it hasn't frozen over yet. Soon, though. Must be over there. Negative 40 has got to be cold enough to freeze everything over, right? What are we looking at here? 75%. 53 steam exchangers. We're gonna need 55. We're making them. So we'll be fine there. And turn this off. Work a little bit more efficiently. Alright. Lots of hungry people, but the food will be coming soon. Uh, hopefully we can get some more food from our other uh, foragers as well. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if anybody knows about the fishing harbors, please let me know. Please let me know. Go ahead and make another one of you. So we have the safety option there. Get you to a regular shift. More efficient. Transport has arrived. It's 10 more workers. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and get one over here. Can get you working. What's the deal here? An affront. An engineer employed as a worker refuses to do manual labor. This is an outrage. I have a degree. Find me a job that's worthy of my expertise. 
Workers jeer at him. What's the matter? Afraid to get your white hands dirty? Bloody hell. We'll show you what you're worth, you twit. Side with the engineer. Let the workers educate him. Let the workers educate him. No time for this waste of time. Alright, we're almost done here. We're almost done here. One more of you. Right, we're 80%. Any second now. Any second now. Any second now. I just want it. There we go. 80%. Use the supercharge. Completion. Now erect the two parts of the thermal hull, which will make up the central part of the generator. After it's done, the generator will be ready. Alright. Let's pause for a second. We are about two days behind schedule. Obviously not ideal. With that said, at least we have everything we need for the thermal hull. Right, we can build one and two. We're out of steam exchangers, but that's fine. That is fine. It is dangerous in here right now, so if you do that, right, that'll make it harmful. Harmful is okay. We could also make it uh, a shortened shift. Three days and 15 hours it'll take. Or three days and two hours if we do the short shift, which uh, blows my mind how that works, but I'll take it. Uh, and we could probably make it safe, actually. It's unhealthy right now. So that's a full worker workload over here. We can go ahead and pull workers from here. We can pull workers from here. And we can pull workers from here as well. Turn you off. And send them all working over here. This area is dangerous unless we do that. Now you are unhealthy. So... That's relatively comfortable. We've got plenty of wood that we can use a charcoal kiln to keep these, um, the ventilation going. Right? Wood will keep coming through over here. We have this, the, uh, steam sawmill, so when things do freeze over, we'll be able to use that. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll end up ahead of schedule. Hopefully we'll end up ahead of schedule. I, I, I genuinely don't know, folks. This might all go sideways right at the end over here. I mean, can I keep safety up? Maybe. Got enough structural profiles for one. If I pull people off the docks right now, which doesn't seem like the right idea, if I'm completely honest. I can pull people off the docks. I can pull people out of the infirmary. We have uh, quite a few people who are sick, but not that many that are gravely ill. Um, pull people off of the piles, maybe. Don't make them 24-hour shifts, and that way we can build some more structural profiles to keep safety up on both of these constructions for when uh, toxicity is high. That might be the way to do it. And then we can keep people working. If we can do 24-hour shifts, I mean, three days and two hours, two days and 12 hours, I don't know why there's a difference between the two. Oh, I guess sick leaves and things like that. And if I can find a way to get motivation up, I might actually pull this off. I might actually pull this off. And you know what? I'm tempted to pull people away from the steel uh, docks because we'll, we'll have, I think, the shipwreck eventually, I imagine. Uh, so maybe we, instead of doing steel, we do structural profiles to keep the safety up over here. I'm thinking that might be the way to go. And um, things are starting to cool off, but we've got our braziers working. It's all comfortable, right? It's all comfortable. 24 hour, range setting one. Heating level one. I mean, just on during the workday? I need these to be on when people are asleep at home. Right? Isn't that how you'd want it to work? Um, anyway, this is, uh... Oh, we can dismantle you, can't we? Oh, we can't even dismantle this thing? Are you kidding me? Are we able to make one last shipment? We cannot. It's too late. Cannot make one last shipment. Oh man, um, we are two days behind schedule, but I think we can catch up. Anyway, enough of me rambling and freaking out. I'll save that for later, folks. This is where we're going to call it a session. I'm sorry this one's a little extra long, but I wanted to get to the final stage of generator construction. We are there. We're about two days behind schedule, but we're working on it now. And then we're going to work on some things so that we can do some of these upgrades potentially. Uh, but for now, it's all hands on deck with producing these parts. We might eventually, yeah, when things freeze over, which I think will be in a couple days, we'll get people to stop working on the docks. That'll free up 10, 30, uh, 39... Uh, 40, 54 people, 54 people making uh, more items so that we can do some of the upgrades. That sounds good to me.
but I'd be lying to you if I didn't say I was a little nervous. We might lose it all right at the death over here, folks, but that is for us to find out maybe next session. As always, if you were enjoying, please don't hesitate to let me know, or if you've been enjoying this series, I mean, and would like to see more Frostpunk, don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Like I've said, it makes a big difference in how I approach content on the channel. Massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly, and a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.